Hello and welcome. My name is Bianca and today I'm going to guide you through a 40 minute desert inspired yoga flow. We're going to begin at the front of our mat, feet together, big toes should be touching, bringing your hands together to heart center. And we're just going to begin with a couple of breaths in through your nose, out through your mouth. Feel free to close your eyes if that feels right. And we're gonna focus on our intention for today. What do you hope to accomplish in class today? How do you feel in this moment? Calming your thoughts, bringing your attention to your breath and your body. We're going to begin with some Surya Namaskara A, sun salutations. Take a deep breath in, raising your hands up and overhead. On the exhale, you're going to hinge at the hips, folding forwards with a long spine, Uttanasana. Inhale, straightening the spine. Exhale to fold, stepping back into your plank. Exhale, lowering down chaturanga, elbows in against the body. Inhale, up dog, hips are lifted. Exhale, coming back into our first downward facing dog. Stretching the fingers out wide, creating a suction on your palms to your mat. Walking out the legs reaching those heels down towards the ground and lifting the hips high. On the inhale, gazing towards your hands, walking or stepping your feet to meet them. Inhale, gazing up, exhale to fold. Inhale, coming back up to stand, reaching overhead. Exhale, palms to heart center. We're going to repeat. Inhale, raising your arms overhead. Exhale to fold Uttanasana. Inhale, gazing up. On the exhale, stepping or hopping back to plank, lowering down Chaturanga. Inhale, upward facing dog. Exhale, downward facing dog, holding it here for five deep breaths. On your last inhale, gaze towards the front of your mat. Bend the knees, hop or step towards the front. Inhale, spine long, exhale, fold. Inhale, coming up to stand, arms overhead. Exhale, hands to heart center. And repeat, inhale, arms come up. Exhale, folding forward, Uttanasana. Inhale, spine long. Exhale, plant the hands, hopping back into plank, slowering down to chaturanga. Inhale, upward facing dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Five more breaths here. On your next inhale, gazing up towards the hand, bending the knees, hopping to the front of the mat, spine long, inhale, exhale to fold, inhale, raising the arms up overhead, exhale, palms to heart center, inhaling the arms back up overhead, exhale, spine long, folding, inhale, extend the spine, Exhale, hopping back, down chaturanga. Inhale, upward facing dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Five breaths.
On your next inhale, gazing to the hands, bending the knees, hopping towards the front of your mat. Inhale, spine long. Exhale to fold. Inhale, rising up, arms overhead. Exhale, palms to heart center. One more round, inhaling the arms up. Exhale, folding. Inhale, lengthen the spine. Exhale, plant the hands, hopping back to plank, down to chaturanga. Inhale, upward facing dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Five breaths here. On your next inhale, gazing towards the front of your mat, bending your knees, hopping to meet your hands. Inhale, spine long, exhale to fold. Inhale, coming up to stand, arms overhead. Exhale, palms to heart center. We're going to continue now with Surya Namaskara B. On the exhale, you're gonna sweep your arms low, inhaling up to chair pose. Exhale, folding forward into Uttanasana. Inhale, spine long. Exhale, planting the palms, hopping back, chaturanga. Inhale, upward facing dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Inhaling the right foot up between the hands, raising the arms into warrior one. You're going to bring that back heel down into a 45 degree angle with your front foot. On the exhale, planting your palms, stepping back, chaturanga, inhale upward facing dog, exhale downward facing dog. Inhaling the left foot between your palms. Arms come up overhead, back foot at a 45 degree angle. On the exhale, bringing your palms back down to the mat, framing your front foot, stepping back into chaturanga. Inhale, upward facing dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Holding it here for five breaths. Deep inhales in through your nose. Exhaling out through your mouth, ujjayi breathing. On your next inhale, gazing towards the front of your mat, bending the knees, hopping to meet the hands. Inhale, spine long. Exhale, fold. Inhaling up to chair pose. Exhale, stand. Palms to heart center. Inhale, sweeping the arms down and up into chair pose. Exhale, folding forward, Uttanasana. Inhale, spine long. Exhale, hopping back, plank, chaturanga. Inhale, upward facing dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Inhaling the right foot up between your hands. Coming up, warrior one. Exhaling the palms to frame the foot. Stepping back into chaturanga. Inhale, upward facing dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Inhaling the left foot up between the hands. Rising up into warrior one. Exhale, replacing the hands to frame the foot. Stepping back, chaturanga. Inhale, up dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Five deep breaths here. Really feel that breath as it comes in through your nose, filling your belly, your chest, your collarbones, and exhaling out through your mouth. Inhale to gaze towards the hands, hopping the feet to meet them. Inhale, spine long. Exhale, fold. Inhaling up to chair pose. Exhale, palms to heart center, and we repeat. Inhaling, chair pose. Exhaling to fold. Inhale, spine long. Exhale, hopping back, plank, chaturanga. Inhale, upward facing dog. Exhale, downward facing dog.
Inhaling the right foot between the hands, coming up, warrior one. Exhale, planting the palms back down, stepping back, chaturanga. Inhale, upward facing dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Inhaling your left leg between the hands, rising up, warrior one. And exhale, replacing the hands, stepping back, Chaturanga Dandasana. Inhale, upward facing dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Five more deep breaths. Inhaling to gaze towards the front of your mat, bend your knees, hopping your feet between your hands. Inhale, spine long. Exhale, fold. Inhaling up to chair pose. Exhale, palms to heart center. Inhaling the arms up and overhead. Exhale, folding forward into Uttanasana. And we're just going to hang here for a bit really leaning into the stretch in the back of our legs and our hips. Grabbing your big toes with your first two fingers and thumb, letting the elbows fall wide, gently pulling on your toes to extend your spine. With every exhale, getting a little bit lower, a little bit deeper in the stretch. Unhooking your toes on the inhale, lengthen your spine. As you exhale, you're going to take your palms and put them underneath your feet. So you're standing with your toes against your wrists. Again, letting your elbows fall to the sides. With every exhale, going a little bit deeper. Begin grounding through your right foot, taking the first two fingers on your left hand to wrap around your left big toe. Coming up to stand, keeping that knee in towards your chest. Once you've found your balance, put your right hand on your hip and extend that left leg long, keeping the connection at your big toe. A slight bend in your right knee and when you're ready, opening that leg to the side, pressing your hips forward. If you wobble out, it's okay. Find your way back to balance. Bringing that left leg back to center, releasing the grip, holding your knee high, hands to prayer. We're going to extend it back to warrior three, leg shoots straight back, arms overhead. Inhale, coming back up, squeezing that knee towards the chest. Exhale, bringing it back, warrior three, foot stays flexed. Inhale, bringing it back, knee to chest. Exhale, extending back, gazing in front of your mat. Inhale, knee to chest. Exhale, slowly shifting back, warrior three. Inhale, coming back up, knee to chest. Exhale, extending back. Inhale, knee to chest. and stepping back into a wide-legged stance, hands at the hips. Inhale, filling your chest. On the exhale, hinge at the hips, slowly fold forward, bringing your hands down in line with your feet, letting the head fall, feeling a nice deep stretch. 
down the back of your legs. Reaching the top of your head towards your mat between your feet. Find your breath. On the next inhale, spine is long, bringing the hands behind your back, clasping both hands and falling back forward, letting your arms fall as far as they want to, feeling a stretch in your shoulders. Inhaling, finding your way halfway back up and all the way to stand, hands at the hips. We're gonna to step towards the back of our mat, feet together, inhaling the arms up and overhead, gaze towards the sky, exhale, forward fold, Uttanasana. Inhale, spine long, exhale, fold. Taking a couple of breaths here, you can hold the ankles, clasp the big toes, or just hang. Begin rooting into the left foot, clasping the big toes with the right hand, coming up to stand. Extending the right leg long, keeping that grip of the big toe, left hand to left hip, standing tall. When you're ready, open that leg to the side, keeping your hips squared towards the front of your mat. Micro bend in that left knee. And bring it back to center, release the grip, keeping that knee high into the chest. We're gonna exhale, bringing it back to warrior three. Inhale, bringing that knee back up towards your chest. Exhale, extend the arms and leg back. Inhale, swinging that knee back up towards your chest. Exhale, bringing it back, warrior three. T position with your body. Inhale, bringing that knee back towards your chest. Exhale, warrior three. Inhale, knee to chest. Exhale, extending long. Inhale, knee to chest. Bringing your hands to your hips, taking a big step back into our wide-legged stance. You want your feet to point outwards, heels in. On the exhale, we're gonna to come to a wide squat with cactus arms. Opening your chest, squeezing your shoulder blades behind you. Pressing your knees open, taking some deep breaths here. On the inhale, rising up overhead, straighten your legs. Exhale, coming back down, trying to make 90 degree angles in your knees. Inhale, extend up. Exhale, coming back down. Inhale, rising towards the sky. Exhale, coming down to our squat. Inhale to rise. Exhale, deepen. Inhale towards the sky. Exhale, squat. Inhale, rising up, turning your toes in, hands to your hips, hinging forward for a forward fold. Bringing your hands to either foot maybe clasping your big toes or holding the ankles. 
elbows open wide, letting your head just fall towards the earth. Placing your hands down in front of you in line with your feet, inhale the spine long, walking the feet in together, exhale, folding forward, Uttanasana, inhale, rising up, chair pose, sitting back in your heels, keeping the spine long and tall, exhale, the hands to heart center twisting to the left. So using that left upper arm and elbow to twist the spine, keeping your belly off of your legs, gazing up if you can. Shifting that left hip back, right hip forward. Inhale, coming back up to chair pose. On the exhale, twisting to the other side using that right elbow to twist your body, keeping those hips in line. One knee should not be further out than the other. Inhale, coming back up. Exhale, forward fold. On the next inhale, sweeping the arms up and over into chair pose. Moving into eagle here, we're gonna wrap the left leg around the right leg, double wrap if you can, if it's available to you. Then wrap the arms, right arm under left. You can place your thumb to your third eye the place of intuition, sitting deeper, finding your dristi, inhale, unravel, release, exhale, forward fold. On your next inhale, rising up, chair pose. Switching sides, we're going to wrap the right leg over and around our left leg. Double wrap if that's available to you. And left arm under right arm. Again, your thumb can touch your third eye. Sitting deeper into your chair, finding your balance. And release, inhale, rising up overhead, exhale, swan dive down, forward fold. Inhale, spine long, exhale, step or hopping back, plank, chaturanga, upward facing dog, exhale, downward facing dog. A few deep breaths here. Tuning in to your body, how it feels listening to your breath. On your next inhale, gazing up towards the hands, hop through the hands into a seated position staff pose here, extending the arms overhead, spine long, 
creating an L shape with the body, hinge at the hips, folding over the legs. Hands can rest on the shins, the ankles, or hold on to the feet. Inhale to extend the spine long. Exhale, release, folding over the legs, reaching your forehead towards your shins. Maybe it feels good to rock back and forth. On your next inhale, rising up, spine long. We're gonna place the hands behind us, fingertips towards our feet. Point your toes and raise your hips. Body should be in one line. Shining your heart towards the sky, keeping your neck long. Pressing those hips high. Exhale, coming back down. Bending your left leg, crossing that foot over the right. Raising your right arm towards the sky, coming into a twist. So using that elbow and upper arm to twist your body facing behind you. If a bind is available to you and in your practice, feel free to take it. and release straightening your leg back out inhale the arms up and overhead exhale folding forward noticing how each leg hamstring and hip feels is there a difference on one side compared to the other Inhale, coming back up, placing the hands behind us, fingertips towards the feet, point the toes, rising up, body in one line, pressing the hips and the chest up towards the sky. Neck is long, chin slightly tucked. Exhale, coming back down, bending the right leg, foot comes over the left, Raising the left arm up and using your elbow to help twist your body facing towards the back of your mat. Again, if the bind is available to you and in your practice and you did it on the other side, feel free to take that variation now. Exhaling to release the bind. Inhale the arms up overhead. Exhale, shake it out. Coming into boat pose next. So you're gonna bend your knees, bring your arms out to either side, raising your feet up off the ground, 90 degree angle in the knees, using your core to keep that spine long. Hands can support you behind the thighs. They can be on the ground. Exhale, release. We're going to repeat this again. Coming back, raising your feet off the ground. For a little more challenge, you can straighten the legs to create a V shape with your body. Flexing the toes towards your face, keeping that core engaged 
and exhale, release, spine long. One last time, coming back, taking whichever variation feels right to you. Breathing in and breathing out, slowly lowering the body down and release. Hugging the knees into the chest, rocking back and forth, rolling on your hips, massaging your lower back, hugging your left knee into your chest and bringing it over to your right side, letting that left arm open into a T, gazing towards your left hand. Feeling a nice twist from your spine, letting your body relax into the mat. On your next inhale, bringing that knee back into your chest, hugging both knees in, letting that left leg long, hugging your right knee into your chest, then bringing it over to the left side, gazing towards your right hand, twisting from the spine, letting your body relax into the mat. Deep breaths in through your nose, out through your mouth. On your next inhale, unwinding, hugging both knees tightly into your chest and finding your way into your final resting pose, Shavasana. Letting your feet flop open, your palms facing up towards the sky. There should be no tension in your body here. Letting your body just melt into the mat complete relaxation. Taking a couple breaths to scan your body, noticing how your body feels after your practice today. Returning back to your intention and letting any thoughts just drift out of your mind. as we come into this peaceful state. Begin to deepen your breathing in through your nose, feeling your belly and chest rise. Exhale through your mouth, moving your fingers and your toes, bringing some life back into your body. 
inhale, extend the arms up overhead for a nice full body stretch. Coming up to a seated position, keeping your eyes closed. You can place a cushion or a block under your hips if this is more comfortable for your knees. Hands should be placed gently on the knees. Spine is long. Shoulders relaxed. Chin tucked slightly in so the neck is long. And bring your attention to your breath. Taking a deep inhale through your nose, feeling the belly, then the chest, the collarbones, a deep exhale through your mouth, from the collarbones, to your chest, to your belly. Taking two more deep breaths like this, in through your nose, feel the expansion in your belly, exhale through your mouth, releasing all the tension. Coming to a peaceful state of mind. Resist the urge now to control your breath and instead just observe it. Observe the breeze as you inhale through your nostrils the air flowing down the back of your throat, filling your body. As you exhale, feeling the air come through your nostrils and your body deflate. Observing how this feels, where the sensations are. If your mind starts to drift and follow other thoughts, bring it back to your breath. Taking a moment to feel gratitude for yourself for making it to your mat today for the world around you, for this life. Inhale, bringing your hands to heart center in prayer. Take a deep inhale, let a smile cross your face. The light in me honors the light in you. Namaste.